Hello everybody, hope you're well. Johnny here, JDFM, and something completely different today. I'm very excited to announce I'm part of um, a challenge that Demand More FM has sent me called Pass the Buck. Brilliant idea. You have a season with a club. You have to succeed. You have to become top of the table. I'll show you the points tables shortly. But also, you have to destroy the person coming behind you's chances of beating you. So where on one hand you're trying to score highly by signing all these brilliant players, doing well in the transfer market, but you've also got to sign trash and get rid of all of your best players. Now, the club in question, there's a couple of clues behind me with a bright red fish tank and the light, is Liverpool, which again, I'm really excited for. If you don't know my channel, I've basically got lower league everywhere this year. We've got Margate you know, in our Margate to glory save, and we're in the Belarusian second division with the Godfather. So having players worth £70 million at my disposal, having a transfer kit of God knows what, is something I'm excited to. So let's get involved in this game. Let's see what mess demand more has left us after his first season in charge, and then we'll have some fun. Come on. Okay then, gang, here we are, Liverpool. Clearly, this was the end of Demand More season. We're on the 30th of June, so it's only just finished. And he did well, didn't he? Liverpool won the league 99 points. We're not going to do too much of a recap about his season. He's got that on his own video over on his channel, link down below. We're going to look at what he's done to screw us over. But before we do, let's run through some rules, because there are rules. Otherwise, I would run complete havoc and destroy everything. Let's have a look at what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, main rule, we're allowed three shenanigans. God knows what a shenanigan is. It must be a Scottish word, but we're allowed to do three things throughout the whole season to completely cock up the next person's attempt at making Liverpool successful. So DM has already done three shenanigans in this team. Now that's linked to the main squad. So that can be a transfer activity, things like with the youth and the staff. I think that's a free for all. You can basically do what you want and destroy the club. So there's three main shenanigans and that is the main rule going forward. The next is linked to the scoring. Okay, so my scoring is going to be based on how Liverpool perform this season. In the Premier League, we're looking at games won, the points we get. We also get extra points for winning the Champions League, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, all of that thrown in to hopefully give us a tally to beat the Mandamore score, which his video will be out by now. And he got a total season points of 156 don't know what that means i think is successful first place we're going to go is competitions then let's see how he did last season okay smashed the league by nine points champions league um oh hang on no we can't do that way let's go to schedule champions league he's still in he's still in it he won it he beat man city in the final 5-1 oh god FA cup final he won that 3-0 okay it was a very good season young kieran jesus christ what about the carabao Went out to Leicester. Pfft, terrible. What a crap season. I'll easily beat it. Oh, we're in for a challenge here, aren't we? Okay, right. First thing we're going to do is find these shenanigans. I can already see a transfer there for one. So who's going out? Mane's gone out. Well, that's one, surely, isn't it? What's happening here? Sadio Mane. Transfer. Oh, mate. Are you kidding me? What? £20 million for Mane? He's worth £90 million? How is his season with us? 25 goals. 49 goals. Oh, you absolute cretin. Unbelievable. Right. Shenanigan number one in the bag. Sadio Mane has been practically given to Barcelona for £20 million. Oh, mate. Um, GG. He's going anyway, isn't he? So I doubt he's going to be a shenanigan. He wouldn't be somebody you'd think you're going to focus your efforts in. But really, if we look at transfers, that's all he's done. Like, I would have thought there'd be more. There's no other sneaky things, is there, coming in? Yeah, I'll go. Not all these. Right, let's have a look at the squad, shall we? So, I'll tell you what we should actually look at. Transfer history. He may have already got rid of some. Thiago's come in. Jota's come in. That's fine. He signed this guy, Musalowski. Mm, he's a good little player. Anybody else gone out? Shakiri for 17 million. Nah, you wouldn't waste that, would you? Nobody else has gone out. He hasn't brought Dejan Lovren back in as captain. That's okay. So just the one shenanigan now. Um, Tactics-wise, 
This is my tactic I've loaded in, and this was the one that he had already had. So he set up a park the bus tactic. 442, possession wise, very. This doesn't seem like a Liverpool tactic. Maybe this could be shenanigan number two. He set them up for a defensive park the bus. I don't know what the ruling is if I'm supposed to play this tactic or not, but I will certainly find out. If that is how we're playing with. How would they select a team? Firmino, why can't I choose? The oh no, I can't choose selection advice. I bet I haven't got an assistant manager now, have I? I bet I haven't got any staff at all. Oh mate, you've left me with a doctor. Okay, thank you for that. Who's the doctor? Jim Moxon. What, what's so special about Jim Moxon? Demand more. I'm not got a single staff member. Oh wow, this is gonna be a rebuild job and a half. You absolute shenanigan number two. This is one more left. It could be that tactics. I'll have a little play around. I'll see if I can find shenanigan number three now. Demand more, you sneaky little man. I've just found shenanigan number three. Unbelievable, this one. So I struggled, I'll be honest. In here, um, this shone out like a big thumb. So £3 million wage budget, which is loads of money. But we're still spending 3.6, which is dropping to 3.3. I was thinking, are there any players in this squad on too much money? And let's be honest, James Miller, 145. He's worth every penny. Jordan Ennis and 140. Nobody in there at all. So I thought, what about under 23s? 40 grand, Harry Wilson. Nah, that's nothing, is it? Under 18s. Wait a second. Thomas Hills, £300,000 a week. Jesus Christ. No wonder you're smiling. Oh, my word. Lucas Stevenson, 245 grand a week. You smug, smug aura. And Jakob, Jakob, is on 245 grand a week. And he still can't buy gel. Jesus Christ, my boy. Okay, Asad Yamane, he's gone. I have well and truly been screwed over here by Demand More. Can we um, offer him a new contract or what? Of course, you've only just signed it. Michael League, fair play, agent of the year unbelievable okay right my plan of attack now is to clean up the mess um to be fair right i think i'll still do okay liverpool are an incredibly strong team transfer budget wise we've got how much money where do we go finances 150 million pounds okay i just need to get all the staff in buy a few players to be successful myself self while simultaneously destroying the club from inside so the next person is going to be screwed over jesus and i've got no staff kieran ross you absolute cretin this is going to be fun okay i'll come back with some transfers for you okay i'm back and so much has happened like literally christmas has been and gone but we're back i'm gonna start here um, I've done transfers, I'll get into that now, but look, managerial support, very poor. I've been screwed over massively here. Um, everybody wants a new contract, and I can't give it to them. We're spending so much money on wage bill, thanks to Demand More's lovely little shenanigan, number three. Um, everybody wants to leave. Joe Gomez, Alexander Arnold, Andy Robinson, Rabar, wherever you are, mate, but <laughs> some big players. They've all had an absolute titful, and there's nothing I can do but... This is what we've done to fix the problem, okay? So let's go to transfers, first of all. Um, there was one other guy that I had lined up massively. So we bought Koulibaly, £60 million, brilliant defender. I wanted a centre-back, a midfielder, and a striker. Um, I've changed the tactics since, so it's kind of shifted a bit. So this guy's come in, physicals off the chart. He's going to sit alongside Van Dijk as two absolute man mountains. Alongside him, it doesn't feature here because I bought him literally as soon as I picked up this game. Da, 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 da. Kylian Mbappé, £187 million. Welcome to Liverpool. Bonjour, Kylian. I'm sure he's going to be an absolute beast for us. He, he was playing some sort of tournament in the summer, so he's not fit yet. He hasn't come in all guns blazing, but he's going to. Which means, um, tactically... I've got two little formations we're running with. This is what I'm playing with. It it looks a mess, don't get me wrong, but I want to play inverted wing backs. I want these to tuck in here to create kind of a midfield, and then these three course havoc up top. Alongside that is this one, which I had a lot of success with with Atalanta. 
So we'll see. I'm going to work with that. The season will go ahead. We've got a couple of games under the belt so far. Literally just this. We lost to Man United. Oh, in the Community Shield. 86th and a 90th minute winner. Again, Demand Moore will be super happy about that one. You absolute cretin. Since then, haven't conceded a goal. Three wins on the bounce. Super happy indeed. So, plan of attack. I'll come back midway point. Let's say end of January. Well, get another transfer window out of the way. Um, we're due to make a lot of money. I don't know how it's going to work. If they'll give us more again in the January transfer window. Because if they do, there's a few other places I want to develop. If you have enjoyed that, guys, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you check out Demand Moore's first episode so you can see how this was all created and where the plan is to take it. Um, I'm really excited to be a part of it. And I'll be back, like I say, end of January for episode number two. I'll see you guys soon.